What is up, everyone? So, I was finally able to get my hands in the Medieval Blacksmith Lego set. I have been waiting a couple months to get my hands in this thing. I've been excited since it came out, and I'm kind of angry that it took me this long to get it, but uh, with days finally here. I've got it. We're going to build it. We're going to do a time lapse and a review at the end. So, but I really just love this thing. The medieval architecture is absolutely incredible. I love the minifigs and I love that they're Black Falcon. I think this set is actually better than the idea set that was submitted. I mean, some people don't feel that way, but I, I do. And I mean, don't take anything away from that person that submitted that. That thing is still incredible, but I just love what Lego did with this. And I'm really excited for the three in one castle set Lego might have coming out in early uh, summer this year. So we're going to get into this thing. We have 14 steps. Let's do this.
So that actually wasn't a time lapse at all. That was just me building that fast because of Dragon Force. But uh, <laughs> no, but th this this build was absolutely awesome. I love this build. Uh, there's only one part I didn't like, and one gripe about it was this tree. I, I couldn't stand it. It kept falling apart on me. It was so frustrating. But just looking at it from the front here, you see the light brick, the forge. It, it, it just looks awesome. It's so freaking cool. Uh, and it's completely modular. So you'll see it's a little tricky. You don't want to take the... I tried taking the roof off on this side, but you're actually going to slip it around to the other side. And it comes off, and you can actually see the interior of the of the uh, bedroom. And you'll see the uh, bearskin carpet on the floor. I thought that was pretty cool. I actually love the bed. Uh, that's the most in-depth bed I've ever seen Lego make before. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it's pretty, you know, pretty cool. It comes right off. And then under here, you've got... You've got, like, the kitchen, and these chairs are very detailed, too. I, they use axes for the back of it. I thought that was a really nice touch, and I like I like pretty much everything inside here. It's very medieval. It's very, I don't know, it's, it's castle-esque, I guess, but it just looks awesome. So coming around to the front, you get some stairs that lead up into that dining room area, and this actually pops right off. And you will see the forge inside. And uh, once again, you'll see uh, like this light brick right here. It still lights up. Or I should say you can still see it from the inside. But yeah, I mean, it looks really cool. And you'll see the armor. I, I tried to get my hands on this armor too on lego.com. We'll get some extra pieces and the, yeah, that wasn't happening. <laughs> Who knows when that'll be back in stock. But uh, yeah, you got all kinds of utensils there hanging on the wall. All the stuff you would see like normally in a forge. So I, I just I absolutely love it. It's just such a cool little set. And for 150 bucks, you can't go wrong with this. Seriously. I, I it was a great build. I mean, it probably took me four, four or five hours to build. So it was like twenty one hundred pieces or so. So yeah, I mean, honestly, I go pick this thing up. And and if you're just looking for like resale value too, this thing is going to if you hold on to it for a couple of years, buy a couple of them in the box. This thing will easily probably double, triple in price when after it retires, without a doubt. So, but yeah, this this has to be right up there with one of my favorite builds. This thing just looks so good. I mean, now it's a good look at the tree too in the front. The tree sucked the build. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but I mean, when it's all done, said and done, and I probably just had more trouble with it too. I did it at like one o'clock in the morning, so it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All in all, I mean, you can see the carriage with it. The carriage looks awesome. Like I said, the Black Falcons. Um, that little archer that comes with a little bullseye on the back of the tree for the archer. And the blacksmith's incredibly detailed, too. It's just, it's such a cool set. Uh, this thing is going to look awesome in, in the city. I can't wait to get this uh, in there. So that's going to be the next step. That'll be the next video. But for now, I'm just kind of enjoying this and... And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. This thing was just awesome. Go out and pick one up. 150 bucks. Well worth it. But till next time, everyone. Take care.